I didn't know that Mr. Papa wrote these time waster letters. This is this book. Oh my good! Can I read the? He wrote the theme song for the aluminum foil container manufacturers association. Sure. Do you yeah. mind? You gave me this book, by the way. You were the one. You said you sent yes. me this book. You said this is the funniest book going. Oh. All right. So he writes to the aluminum. <laughs> Sorry, I'm this. Not laughing. The, he writes a letter to the aluminum foil container manufacturers association, and he says, uh, "I'm a poet. I need sponsoring." So he wants the organization to sponsor him, and he wrote a poem about the Aluminum Foil Man Container Manufacturer Association. He goes, it's actually a song to be sung to the tune of Oh My Darling Clementine. And here it goes. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling, tell the nation it's the Aluminum Foil Container Manufacturers Association. They work so late. <laughs> they work so hard from their special condominium representing different companies that use aluminum. They're so <laughs> it's so <laughs> they're so uh, they're so friendly. They're so clever. They can make things with their hands like little boxes made of metal just to keep your rubber pants. <laughs> so then here comes the final verse. Yeah, like he's going to bring it home now. Yeah. So let's sing loud and let's sing proud for the AFCMA. Let's hope that they continue. And then he just writes a line of question marks, yeah. like if one of you could figure out what the last line is. Yeah. He, wants, he... he wants people at the <laughs> around the office, around the association, to figure out the final he, line. And he wants them to sponsor him because he wrote this stupid song. Yeah. <laughs> 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 also... Some of the responses he gets, like the people without knowing it, they top him comedically. Yeah. Like he'll write this brilliant yeah. letter. The one about the, the – they're to this ball bearing association, and their son is collecting ball bearings. And it's clear that the son is mentally ill because he owns like 80,000 ball bearings, and it just filled the house with ball bearings. Like, what do we do? And the guy writes back, there is nothing wrong with collecting ball bearings. And you tell him that we like they, we totally are supporting him. Do not make him get rid of the ball bearings. This guy's like having like the worst day of his yeah. life. <laughs> That is the greatest book. Oh God! Uh, there's there's uh, another great one where it's um, the one where he talks about the mustard from the wasps. Yes. Wasp waspbird. Yeah, waspbird. And, and he starts and he just to me it's the funniest thing he does in it is the thing that is the funniest thing in any kind of comedy where you just say like, uh, hey, I wrote the uh, like you're just the presumptuousness where he's like. Uh, Hey, we're going to do the labels for these uh, things in three weeks. This is the quote I'd like to put on from you. I eat waspbird straight from the jar. How about that? <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> this is already happening. Yeah, exactly. Just sign on. Just say yes. And that's the quote that goes on this thing. And the guy writes back, Best of your project sounds very interesting. Please do not associate us with it at all. Like it's like a two it's like a one sentence thing where the guy just instantly wants it. It's crystal clear that he wants no Ties yeah. to this. There will be legal ramifications if yeah. this is followed up on. <laughs> uh.